Hi, I'm Patricia Rivera Wolfson. My company is Jumpstart for Change. And one of the things that I love to do for my clients is to make things easier when it comes to doing business online. And so um, I actually had a question today from a client who asked me how to go on Facebook Live uh, because they have changed the rules or they've changed sort of the configuration of going live on Facebook using your desktop. So um, watch this video. everyone, my name is Patricia Ribeiro Wolfson from Jumpstart for Change and I am making this video so that um, you can figure out how to navigate making a live video on Facebook because they've made some changes and it's not as easy as it used to be. Okay, so here we are in Facebook and um, uh, I don't know where this new create room thing came from but you can open up, uh, go to live video and here we go, let's allow that for now. So it says, please try broadcasting on the latest desktop version of Chrome to go live with your camera. So this is actually a Safari browser, so it's not going to work. Um, but I can download the latest version of Google Chrome through here, so I will do that. So I'm just going to close that and I'm going to come here and you press download Chrome. OK, so you go to Google Chrome. Do you want to allow downloads on Google? Sure. Let's do that. All right. So then it tells you what to do. So you open the file called Google Chrome.dmg, you drag Chrome to the Applications folder, and you open Chrome. Okay, now the thing is, is that you may or may not have Chrome already functioning. So let's do, did I download it? I'm gonna download it again. Um, I just downloaded it. That's how I figured out how to do this. So I'm gonna download it again, see what happens. And we're just gonna wait. For it to download all right so it gives you the instructions all right now we'll close this down in fact I'll close both of these down and I'm gonna open Google Chrome and now you have a new version of Google Chrome hold on because you can download it but you if you don't actually put Google Chrome into the applications folder it won't happen. Um, you'll have it downloaded on your computer, but the new version won't be um, in the applications folder. If you have an older application, an older version of Google Chrome, you see here, this is what comes up. An item named Google Chrome already exists in this location. Do you want to replace it with the one you're moving? Yes, you want to replace it. Um, okay, it says it can't be used because Google Chrome's in use. That's because I had it open. So if you have any Google Chrome uh, browser windows open, this is your time to close them. Okay, so let's start again. Or let's say okay. And that's it. You have to use Google Chrome in order to go live on Facebook. It will literally give you the directions. There's some browsers that won't work at all. Other options are to use a live streaming service. But if you do it this way, you won't have to. You can go direct. So here, I'm going to show you exactly. So it, Safari won't work. Other browsers won't work. If you have any other browser that you're using, it's not going to work. So this is simply um, a way to go live through your desktop, laptop, you know, desktop, and um, go live on Facebook. OK, so now you press on live video. So when you go to live now, it takes you to live producer on Facebook. And so that's why things are a little bit different. So it's not just going, you know, camera on, but it's taking you into the live producer section in Facebook. Okay. And here you go. So you can go right here and you can use your camera. So now it should work. Uh, and that's it. Um, if you have any questions, then by all means, feel free to leave a comment. And here you go. See the, it's just taking a long time. So here, the video shows up in this black box. And you can make that the main screen. And here you go is your button to go live. So now, just like the way it used to be, you're, there's your screen, you're going live, and then you come here and you press go live, and you go.